Today we're here at Bubba Fest in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is like a convention with some pretty big celebrities here. And it's, it's kind of like a con with like a redneck type of theme to it from what they said. It's like a comic con mixed with fried chicken. So we're here today to meet the actor who played Jamie Lannister, Chuck Norris, King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead, some wrestlers, other celebrities and personalities, so it should be a fun day. First time ever here, and let's find out how to get into this place and let's go. Alright, so we're heading into Bubba Fest, and I have no idea what to expect. He drags me to all these kind of places, and this is going to be an interesting day. Come on, Lee. <laughs> We are now inside of Bubba Fest. This place is actually pretty, pretty decent size here. So we're gonna first, we're gonna try to find where all the celebrities are doing the signing. I think it's here in kind of the back area. We're just gonna see how bad the lines are because my kind of goal is to get like the, the actor who plays Jamie Lannister, kind of get him first, maybe beat a lot of the crowd because this place isn't really that packed yet. So hopefully the crowds aren't too bad. Like I see back there, I see some, some of the Walking Dead and their lines aren't that bad. So hopefully Jamie Lannister's gonna be the, the same thing. His, his real name is uh, Nicolaj something, but he's back here. Here's all the lines for a lot of celebrities. And right now, they are not that bad. The lines here are not that bad right now, so that's awesome. So there we got Chuck Norris, Walking Dead, Goldust. There's uh, Nicolaj Coster Waldo playing Jamie Lannister. Your Walking Dead corner. Oh, he's not there yet. That's why, That's why there's no line for him yet. Because I expect a lot of people here are here to actually meet uh, Nicolaj, Jamie Lannister. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Yeah, so far the lines here are not that bad. These are not bad. So we talked to one of the security guards by the Jamie Lannister. I'm just going to call him by his stage name, or his name, just because that's everybody knows him by. And the staff said that he won't be here for upwards of four hours. So we got four hours to burn. So we're going to go ahead and meet uh, Carrie Payton, who plays King Ezekiel on The Walking Dead, Cooper Andrews, and Ross Marquand, who are both on The Walking Dead. We're going to meet both those guys. After that, we're going to turn around and go the other direction and see like how long the line is for Chuck Norris. His line does look absolutely crazy right, right now though. The wife is like totally just zoned out. And then there's more down there I want to check out still. And uh, so this might be a long day, but I don't think the line's gonna be that bad. I think the only line that's gonna be bad is gonna be the Jamie Lannister whenever he actually gets here. I think his line's gonna get bad very quickly. So we're gonna line up like an hour ahead of time. Hopefully that'll be enough. So, when we get closer, we'll do an update. All right. How you doing? You are here, man. You are in. Yeah. No, no, I'm out of you, brother. I'm out of you. Don't make me get down there. I'm excited. At the hotel. Yeah, you know, you look delicious, you just take, you know, take a bite of it. I have a Except, well, hey, you know what I mean? You're her kind of dude, I just, I, I wanted you to be able to walk out of here. Okay. Here we go. Mark me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I'll be back. I'll be back. What? Look at this guy. That's true. And, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get the beard keep up. You know what I mean? I gotta shave this again, dude, you know, so that I can <laughs> trying to get mistaken for him in grocery stores. We look just like. It's true. It's true. But his cat's bigger. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got collectible toys. Oh, look, Thor up there. Huh? 
There I am. Where are you at, baby? I don't see myself. Hmm. I'm, You're I'm up there somewhere. Very rare. You're a very rare figure. Very rare figure. Makes sense. Ultra cool. We got the General Lee here at the Bubba Fest. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, that's gorgeous. So coming to a con like this, you're going to see a lot of just pop culture, collectibles, figurines, artists, comic books. You got metal art, you got script art, you got beat art, Lego art, you even got cosplay booths. So if you're into like pop culture, kind of like, you know, like the geeky life, like a lot of us like, then this is the kind of place you can come here and just bind your heart's desire. Oh boy. Bubba Fest, I'm walking around and I run into this guy right here, a guy that I watch on YouTube, Mr. Greg Cook. Yes. Here at Bubba Fest in Tennessee. So we've got celebrities, we've got Walking Dead, we've got Game of Thrones, and we got Greg Cook. It doesn't get much better than that, correct? Right? <laughs> Coming down, who would you rather see? Greg Cook in person, touching, talking to, or a celebrity? Too easy, right? That's right, yeah. I need to kind of do the, the look though. Who does it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, here, wait a minute, hats off. So what I could do, since he's a collector, I'm a reseller, I'm a flipper, the bad guy. So I could try to infiltrate the brain, give him some of this bad guy vibes. Before you know it, it's, you have to become like Greg the villain. Greg, Greg the dark. Let's see what happens though. So his YouTube channel might be changing formats here. Be like a heel. Yeah, think about it. Ooh. And then you can flip-flop, play both sides of it. Good guy, bad guy, whatever you want to be. Stay tuned to see. So that is that is what I do to your favorite YouTubers. I make them more like me. Right. So anyway, make sure though, if you haven't checked out his YouTube, I'll leave the direct link down below. Check it out, Greg Cook. Pleasure, man. It was a pleasure to meet him too. So yeah. We're gonna walk around, do a few more things, and uh, try to make it more of a villain. After several hours of standing in line waiting for Chuck Norris, we actually kind of gave up because our feet start hurting, back start hurting because we're standing on concrete for hours. And we're actually keeping an eye view of Jamie Lannister's booth. And he's supposed to be here sometime within the next like hour to hour and a half. He took like an extended lunch break. And we kind of need a little break ourselves, replenish the body, rest the body a little bit. But Chuck Norris's line is absolutely ridiculous. And he was, he's like an hour late. So who knows when he's going to get here, if he gets here. But yeah, the Chuck Norris line is a line that is over there. And we were somewhere in the middle of that mess. And it's like packed in like sardines. Like you couldn't breathe, you couldn't move. You're on top of each other. You had some people who were sitting on the ground trying to sprawl out as much as they could. It was a big mess over there. So we, we gave up. We had enough. Oh, Kane Hodder just walked in. There's Mr. Jason Voorhees. Right there. <laughs> that's 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 why the you know. <laughs> he flipped me off. Dude. <laughs> Kane Hodder just flipped me off. Well, that was kind of awesome, right? That was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. Kane Hodder totally flipped me off. He did. <laughs> but how many times in your life are you going to have the chance to look at Kane Hodder and go, Ch -ch -ch -ch. Probably <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, you hang out with me, that happens to you sometimes. Sometimes you make people mad and they might flip you off. But I had to take the opportunity. It was Kane Hodder, my favorite Jason Voorhees. Which I actually have his Funko Pop here to actually get signed here later. 
So we'll see if he remembers me or not. So what are we in line for right now for like hour number one? We want to see the actor Nikolai, Nikolai. portrayed by... Uh, just to let you guys know, I don't know. So what do we just find out? So we just found out that um, no photos, no recording for uh, Nikolai, however you say his last name, who is... Mr. Denmark. <laughs> who's Jamie Lannister on uh, Game of Thrones. So... But we're going to stand here in line and we're going to meet him. Yeah, so no photography, no videoing, but I mean, I'll, I'll get a small shot of him like from a distance, but that'll be about it too. Yeah. Maybe about an hour or so, we will meet Mr. Jamie Lannister. So. What are you doing, honey? Well, Max, right now I'm posting on Instagram a picture of Jamie Lannister's banner, aka Nicolaj, whatever his real name is, that we're uh, waiting in line. And it'd be awesome if Tyrion was here, because if he was here, he'd have some wine for us while we wait. But no Tyrion, no wine. Mm, bummer. I, are you confused, though? Confused I mean, about what? your name. It, Kingslayer. You've got a badge on you that says Kingslayer. Are you, are you confused on who you are? Fat Thor can kill any king in the man. <laughs> Seriously, it's not that hard. because there's no recording allowed right now. So we are getting some shots in. who plays Jamie Lannister, and he was fantastic to talk to. He was very nice. He talked to us, and I asked a big question. I said, is Jamie actually dead? Because in the last... Oh, spoilers! Hold on, spoilers! Spoilers! Okay, in the last episode, they made him look like he was dead. But is he actually dead? That's the question. And he said the same thing. That's the question. Is Jamie dead? Will it, will it be a spinoff? On the other side of the place now, we got different people over here. Flash Gordon. We got Tyler Maine. Kane Hodder, he's not in his booth right now. We got somebody who played Leatherface over there. Rob Mello. Keeps going down longer. But the lines over here are pretty much getting dead now because it's about five o'clock at night here. It's starting to slow down a little bit. Still people here, but it's really thinned out a lot. It's kind of nice now. It's actually, it's enjoyable to walk around without all the people. But there's still a lot here to see. We're still not even close to being done yet. We've spent most of the day standing in lines, meeting people. How cool is that car? Custom made Bumblebee. So right now we're heading over to Kane Potter's booth to get him to sign the Jason Voorhees and Uncle Pop. So Kane is over here, and I already kind of irritated him earlier by doing that ch -ch -ch to him. I probably won't do it again because, you know, it's Jason Voorhees. We don't want to make him too mad at us, but let's go meet him. I respect you for having been the greatest franchise ever. Well, I'm happy to be a part of it. For part sure. of it changed my life. It did it? They made my parents mad when they, they found that I rented it. They were part A. I mean, there's only a few deaths in it, correct? No, no. really. No, I mean, there's a few little a bunch of guys had a big deal. How you doing? Yeah, he did. What did you say right before I did it? Hang him in there. Oh, you got it. Uh huh. <laughs> what are you 
you to come up with it before I said it. What was the last thing Julius said before I went to bed? He was tired. He was tired. He was all worn. His gloves were all bloody, yeah. and he was like, and he said, or something about your best shot or something. Something about best shot. Give me your best shot. No. Are you a religious guy that you don't want to say it? I don't remember. It might have been a cuss. I don't remember. Take your best shot, mother. That's it, that's it. And I did. I was close. And his head removed from his body. <laughs> uh, am I doing it to you? I don't. No? Okay. Cheers. Good. And my wife, I, I told her about how you tattooed with a kill on the inside of your lip Or is that an urban legend? I read about that years ago. Oh, 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 right. But was it true or was it an urban legend? I think it's true. <laughs> Kill. I think it's true though. You do? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's true? You weren't paying attention. <laughs> you were talking online. <laughs> he, th he thinks there, he heard a story that I have a tattoo inside my lip that says kill. Inside your lip. Is that true or is it like an urban legend that people said it so much it became true? It's true. It's true. It's true. It's got to be true. So I wouldn't be taking my gloves off that <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. What do you expect true. me to put in there? Love, <laughs> peace. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kidding. Thank you so much.